We're inching our way towards spring, but it's not quite here. So what in the world do we wear? Well, I have a few solutions and it's all coming up next at Style at a Certain Age. Hi ladies, it's Beth. Thanks so much for stopping by today. And if this is your very first time visiting, a very warm welcome. Hit the subscription box before you go so you don't miss any videos coming your way and the notification bell. Today's video is a style video, but if you're looking for more style inspiration, I have channels over on Facebook and Instagram, Style at a Certain Age, and a lovely lifestyle blog, styleatacertainage.com, where I share health and wellness tips, beauty, more style, and my German Shepherd Oscar makes a weekly appearance. But let's get into that video. As I mentioned in the teaser, spring really is coming up fast. And I think it's just a mere four weeks away. March 20th actually is the day of the equinox. So it, uh, I, I know you're probably like me. We're getting very tired of our cashmere sweaters. I love them, but I'm just tired of them. The bulky sweaters the you know puffer jackets and all of that we are ready for spring and just a breath of fresh air but it's not quite here so it does get a little tricky on deciding what we're going to wear so that's why i thought i would just go through what i've been wearing lately and maybe i'll if you like it so much i'll make it into a new series uh, but i get a lot of questions too i'm a classic style dresser and so many questions on how i keep it modern fresh and relevant rather than looking dated and stodgy and one of my tips is that I always try to bring a trend in, maybe one trend to every very classic style outfit. And one of my favorite stores to shop for trendy and really kind of boho chic looks is Anthropology, And they never disappoint. I absolutely, when we lived in San Francisco, used to, they had a flagship store there and I loved going in. And they have a home department and they have you know women's clothes and it's it's just visually merchandised so beautifully and they really just have some cool things so if you really want to just you know as i said stay modern fresh and relevant think about bringing trends in um, from time to time anthropology is a great store to shop at but besides that i also get a lot of questions on where i shop on a day-to-day -day basis for my classic style and i have my go-to brands I, I typically hit the mid-price brand um, so the mid-price points and the and I'm not afraid to buy luxury and I'm not afraid you know to, to you know head off to Target or Walmart but mostly I hit those mid-price brands and that's Talbots and that's Ann Taylor and J Crew and actually this is from Bowden which is a British brand love that um, as I said I, I will go to Target and I will go to Walmart and I love luxury brands like Ralph Lauren Tory Burch Vince. So those are just some of the retailers that I just really rely on for all of my classic pieces. But today you will see mostly the mid-priced uh, brands. So now I'm gonna get into it and just share what I've been um, wearing lately over on the blog and I have photos you know, for inspiration so you can see the whole outfit pulled together. But uh, let's start off with the sweaters. My love of sweaters runs deep and every fall I'm more than happy to pull out my cashmere and my merino sweaters and the bulky sweaters. But this time of year, and I'm sure you're like me too, we're getting a little tired of that. So this is when I really kind of uh, transition into lighter weight sweaters. We still need the warmth of a sweater. And sometimes we need that extra layer of a button down or a button up underneath, but uh, they are lighter. And I'm gonna start showing them to you. So this first one, so this is from Bowden. I talked about them, uh, definitely a classic brand, but I will say I love Bowden's infusion of color. They are so good with that. And when I am looking to bring color to an outfit, I definitely look, you know, head over to Bowden. But um, this one does have pops of orange, which I like, and it does have the stripes on the sleeves. So it's giving a nod to the nautical look, which is very spring-like. I mean, nautical and spring go together like peanut butter and jelly, but it's not the full Breton stripe, which I kind of like. Uh, this I styled on the blog recently, so I just brought this in with a gorgeous plaid coat, 
which is trending this spring. Plaid is, I mean, just all over the place. Usually we kind of think of plaid as a uh, fall pattern, but it's really big this spring. So I paired this uh, underneath a plaid coat, a simple pair of blue jeans. I cuff them and then put on some suede booties too. But this is a type of sweater I can definitely transition easily into spring and I can bring in a cute pair of navy pants or maybe I have some uh, sailor jeans, you know, with the cute buttons on either side. But so lots of options here with this sweater. And then my next sweater, so this is from Banana Republic. And I don't think I mentioned Banana Republic as one of the, the retailers that I shop at, but I actually really do. Used to love them in the late 90s and then into the early 2000s. But that was when Banana Republic was run by Mixie Drexler, Mickey Drexler. He was the CEO, but he had a tiff with the Fisher family and was fired. So he immediately went over to J. Crew and then turned that brand into the powerhouse that it was during the two, you know, 2000s and, and you know, really, they've had some hiccups uh, along the way, but um, he really took that brand and, and just made it a worldwide name. But before that, he wet his teeth at Banana Republic and that's when they were all that. Again, they've had some hiccups along the way, but I would say the past year or so, they have been on top of their game and I tend to be shopping Banana more and more and more. So this now is one of my favorite sweaters and it's just so cozy and soft and it has a camo pattern. It comes in the gray. I picked out the gray, but it also comes in olive green. So I styled it on the blog. Actually, I've worn it twice already. So I styled it with a pair of um, knit pants that I'll show you uh, later on. So for a very nice, you know, athletic wear, leisure wear at home but it also goes absolutely perfectly with a pair of uh, blue jeans. And I also, I wore it with dark rinse denim and then white sneakers, uh, which I think everybody should have in their closet. So again, Banana Republic, so cozy, a very nice weight, not too heavy. It's, you know, it's kind of the Goldilocks of sweater, so not too heavy, not too, not too light, really kind of hits that medium. Uh, and again, Loft. I didn't mention Loft either, but Loft is in the Ann Taylor family. Actually, Ann Taylor launched Loft, oh gosh, 20, probably more than 20 years ago. And that was to appeal to the younger demographic because Ann Taylor was really, at that time, very much focused on the businesswoman and you know business suits and having those office basics. So they really wanted to expand and get the younger demographic excited about the Ann Taylor family. So Loft came along. And they more or less really have, have stuck to that, um, that aesthetic. Uh, but I do like to shop at Loft. They've been actually killing it lately. And for Valentine's Day, I picked up this adorable sweater. So again, it's a very nice lightweight. It is a neutral color, but it has pops of color, which I think we need during February in these, you know, because February is just known for very, gray sky so this really gives you just brightens up your your day color always does that on the blog i work for fridays with oscar which is always a very casual day and lot they're sold out now that's why i didn't bring them into this video but um just a pair of ivory uh denim and you know just super super easy outfit i think that this sweater is has a touch of whimsy but i don't think it's so whimsical that you can't wear it after Valentine's Day, I think that this is really the type that you can wear all the way, you know, through spring. And I think that's probably because of the, of the color scheme. And then again, for Valentine's Day, so this is again from Loft, and it, uh, uh, again, a whimsical sweater, but not so much, not so cutesy that it can't be worn way after Valentine's Day. It's gray, and then you have the um, love spelled out in white, and, but then I love just the red heart at the bottom. So I took this and I paired it with a pair of white denim, and then I tied in the red from the sweater. So I put on a pair of red shoes and then I brought out my red camera bag. So really, it was a, actually a very, very popular outfit over on the blog. And I think you'll like that. I think you will like um, how I put everything together. And last but not least, so this is Talbot's, definitely a favorite classic retailer of mine. Love them. I have been shopping at Talbot's since in my 20s, and I probably will, you know, shop there until you know the day I die. But this is a really cute, again, lightweight sweater. It's cotton. 
and it has the Dobby stitch on the front. So it just really has some nice texture to it. Just a little bit different because it isn't a neutral color. So this is a sweater that can be worn with blue jeans, which I've done. Uh, I paired it with a pair of leopard denim over on the blog. And then I brought in a denim shirt, tucked it underneath. I also wore it with um, plaid pants right after Christmas. So love neutrals. Neutrals also help ease us into the next season. Uh, and, but this is a lighter neutral. It's not the gray or the black or the camel. Ivory is just perfect this time of year. Okay, so I went through all of my sweaters. Now I'm gonna go through the pants that I've been wearing. And of course, of course, since I'm a blue jean mama, I'm gonna have a couple pairs of denim. Uh, but before we get into that, so this was the pair of uh, knit pants. They call these sweater joggers from Banana Republic. And that went with the camo sweater and love this. I probably could have sized down to a small with this one, uh, but I did get the medium and I wore it. As I said, it's a perfect athleisure wear outfit. This just went with a camo sweater. And then I pulled in some platform sneakers, some brown ones, because I love brown and gray. It's a very traditional menswear color combination. So I, so I brought that in. But if you want comfort, but yet still an elevated look, this is just absolutely perfect because uh, they are joggers, sweater joggers, but they would easily go out, you know, for lunch or, you know, you can run your errands with ease in these, be comfortable, but yet still a little bit chic. And remember I said that when I'm looking for a, uh, you know, something with a little bit of fun, a little bit of boho chic, I go to Anthropology. Well, this is from Anthropology, and these are perfect for a spring. I did pull them out. Uh, Georgia can flirt with some really warm days this time of year, so it was a 60-something day. And I pulled this out, and I put this with a blue t-shirt that I've had for years and years from Michael Stars. I actually got that from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale maybe like four years ago. One of my all-time favorite tees because of the boat neck. But how cute are these? I just loved the muted color combination and it does bring in a lot of different colors. So you have the, the peaches and you have the blues and you have the yellows, but it's very, very muted. So it will go with so many things. And what I really liked about this, and you're gonna see this, it's trending right now and they call it the utility pant. So it has the, the uh, square pockets in the front and the uh, Anthropology just brought the button placket in front too, and I really kind of like that. But utility pants, square pockets in the back. It's so cute and perfect uh, to transition through spring, really all the way into fall. And yes, yeah, see, here are my jeans. So I have one pair of very affordable jeans. So these are from Walmart, and this is from their Time and True collection, which is uh, solely at Walmart. And I think these jeans are like maybe $25 or something like that. So mine uh, is a little bit distressed. I know many of you abhor distressed jeans, no problem. They actually have a beautiful pair exactly like this, same cut and everything in a dark rinse denim with no distressing. I just happen to really like the distressing. And I've worn these several times. I uh, also have a gorgeous leopard coat from Walmart the Scoop brand, and I paired it with a red sweater, and I think I put on some uh, red shoes, and I've worn it a couple of other times too, but uh, you know me, I have to have a new pair of jeans every year, but these are very, it's just a simple cut, but really good, a good fit, good price, and I'm telling you, go check out Time and True jeans from Walmart. And then my last pair, uh, a pants and again denim and this is from Madewell and Madewell was I think they got sold off from J Crew, but they used to fall under the J Crew family same kind of concept with Ann Taylor and Loft Madewell was really uh, built to attract the younger demographic but I love to shop there I love their denim especially and uh, it just fits me really really well so again this is the utility pant uh, that the anthropology pants you know same silhouette so you have the square pocket in front and you have the square pocket in back and it's just a, a straight leg so I just paired this with some loafers on the blog and then I had a striped sweater from J Crew. very very preppy vibe 
It's just a very simple silhouette, but you will be seeing me sporting these more and more and more all spring long. So uh, I just really love, as I said, Mainwell jeans. Okay, for my next few pieces, so it's kind of a, a mishmash, but I believe everyone needs a denim shirt in their closet. This is one of the most versatile items and it is going to help you stay modern, fresh, and relevant rather than dated and stodgy. And it just really gives just a casual chic vibe to any outfit. I tuck it underneath sweaters all the time and I have the really cute Dobby sweater where I did tuck it underneath and you can see that in a, in a pair of leopard jeans. But a denim shirt, uh, and there's lots of different rinses. There's a dark rinse is not as readily available these days. It's trending more towards the chambray or the lighter rinse wash. But keep your eyes out for a darker uh, rinse wash. This is kind of a in-between. And for a very, very versatile item in your closet, you want to have a shirt dress. And I have a series over on the blog called Now and Later where I wear something now and then I show you the versatility of that item because then I can wear it later. So for winter, I took this shirt dress from Banana Republic and shirt dresses always come with a self-tie belt, but I always exchange the self-tie belt for one of my own. So for winter, I took a leopard tissue turtleneck from J. Crew, popped it underneath, a wide brown belt from Ralph Lauren and a pair of suede brown boots absolutely perfect for winter time but this spring i'll be able to wear this really lightweight shirt dress as well so for springtime i plan on bringing a pair of heels maybe you know sandals um, some really kind of fun chunky jewelry and maybe a, a skinny belt so definitely if you're looking for versatility you want to have a shirt dress in your wardrobe because it is a very hard working item. It really is like the denim shirt. So, and then uh, I did mention at the very beginning, we are all getting tired of our heavy coats, our puffer jackets, and, and uh, we just want lighter and brighter. So these next two jackets are from Banana Republic and I purchased uh, these just recently. So they are in stock. Love this lightweight weight quilted jacket. It's very form fitting, which I like. It has a faux suede collar. Very, very nice. And as I said, it has the quilt stitches, uh, the quilting you know, on the sleeves. It has slant pockets and really nice tabs in the back. So you can actually, you can make it a little bit more tailored if you wanted. And then just a really nice zip up front. I wore this on the blog recently. It was, um, uh, an athletic, uh, a leisure wear outfit. It was just a, a cream colored sweater. And then I had on a pair of, again, sweater joggers from Banana Republic, but they were camel. And then a pair of really cute uh, calf haired slides to just, you know, kind of a, a nod to spring. But everybody needs a lightweight jacket. And this is, and I love the neutral color too, the neutral ivory. ivory. And last but not least, and I think this is probably my new favorite, and I will tell you why. Um, and it's the details here, but this is just a popover rain jacket. So this is water resistant. It has that quarter zip in front, which I like, and it has a lot of pockets. So it has the kangaroo pockets here, but then it also has the, uh, a zip pocket here. So then, you know, if you needed to put your keys or if, you know, if you're traveling light, you can really do that with security. But what I especially loved was the zipper on the side really nice so it really makes you know because it is you pull it on over your head so that really makes this just so easy to slip in and out of and it's just again it's a neutral color just love the casual styling goes with everything because of the neutral color ivory and uh and i love that because it does it rains a lot in the springtime and this is a water resistant jacket it can be a little tricky to pick out the appropriate weight of sweater and pants and jackets this time of year because you know our temps really do fluctuate quite a bit. But I hope you did find a little bit of inspiration today. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to hit the subscription bell and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.